Patrick Swayze's death marked a tragic moment in Hollywood history, and his final words add a sad yet beautiful footnote to his untimely passing. In 2009, beloved actor Patrick Swayze died from advanced pancreatic cancer. He was just 57 years old at the time and had lived with his disease for fewer than two years prior to his death. Notably, patients suffering from advanced pancreatic cancer tend to live between three to eight months after diagnosis. A stalwart Hollywood star in the 1980s and 90s, Swayze was best known for roles in hit films such as Dirty Dancing, Ghost, and Point Break. His wife, Lisa Niemi, was also an actress and director. She appeared in a number of films over the years and in 2003 directed and acted alongside her late husband in One Last Dance. In 2023, Niemi recalled the early days of their relationship in an interview with The Today Show. We start, had such an unlikely start because yeah. we were both very cautious because he had this reputation of being a Casanova. As a teenager, Niemi had taken dance lessons from Swayze's mother, and the couple met while performing together on stage. Recalling that moment, Niemi later said, I looked in his eyes. It was like, it's, it's everything came alive. They married in 1975, and while their marriage was rocky at points, they always reconciled. Shortly before her husband died, Niemi told Barbara Walters that his diagnosis was like, quote, a nightmare you couldn't wake up from. And in her 2012 memoir, Worth Fighting For, she shares a few details about the final days in Swayze's life. She writes, I cherished our time alone, holding his hand, listening to music, sleeping with my arm around him, my head on his shoulder, wordlessly. According to Niemi's book, Swayze's final words to her were spoken on a Friday night. She remembers, My last words to Patrick, I love you, and those were his last words to me. After I brought him home, things went very fast. After speaking one final time to his wife, Swayze slipped into a coma. He died early that Monday morning. In her book, Niemi adds, In the quiet of Monday morning, September 14th, I looked at his face and listened to the tiny sips of air he was taking. There was something delicate, childlike about it. I knew it was time. Swayze died at his ranch in the Los Angeles area. His brother Don was also there alongside Niemi. Swayze was cremated and his ashes were spread at the New Mexico ranch. After his death, his ghost co-star Demi Moore tweeted, I love and will miss you. You were loved by so many and your light will forever shine in all of our lives. Swayze and Niemi had no children together, but while his widowed wife remarried jeweler Albert DePrisco in 2014, her love for her late husband remains. Just because somebody's gone doesn't mean you fall out of love. Referring to her new husband, Niemi said they felt blessed to find each other. Albert and I both felt like we had a lot of love still left to give mm. and felt very fortunate we found someone to give it to. In 2009, Niemi and Swayze had co-written The Time of My Life, a memoir about their life together, as well as Swayze's experiences living with pancreatic cancer. The book was published posthumously. In 2019, Niemi also contributed to the documentary I Am Patrick Swayze. In 2023, Niemi opened up about what her life was like without her late husband. She told Today.com, Just because somebody's gone doesn't end your relationship with them. We spent 34 years together, and that's always going to be a part of my life and who I am. Niemi also spoke of her work with Pancreatic Cancer Action Network, a U.S.-based pancreatic cancer research and support advocacy nonprofit. I still care, and I know how tough Patrick's and my journey was with this. Cancer may have taken him, but it didn't beat him, and I'm continuing his fight for him. 